hi guys in this video i will demonstrate how we can securely sign in into a web or window app in desktop flow with password stored in azure key vault repository i will demonstrate the steps to sign into postman web app with user password stored in azure key vault firstly we will start with desktop flow Let's open in it edit mode. This flow has two input parameters, username and password, both of text type. As you can see, we have um, toggle on mark a sens sensitive switch to make them sensitive. It is a simple flow. The first action launches edge browser in maximize window mode the next action will enter username in the browser window we have passed input parameter to this action similarly we have set up an action for entering password it also takes input parameter value next action is to check you are a human checkbox on the web page and lastly we'll press sign in button to log in into the postman web app i have stored desktop flow cloud flow and environment variable in a solution the solution name is postman example i've already covered the desktop flow so let's explore the environment variable we have two environment variables for storing username and password. They both are of text type and store the value as a plain text. The value of password is, you can see, is exposed to a user who has access to this solution or flow. So to hide this password, we will store it in a secret key of Azure Key Vault service. Let's check the cloud flow. I'm opening it in, it is in edit mode. It is a manual trigger flow that contains an action to call desktop flow, as you can see. Let me open the desktop flow. The desktop flow is set to run in, in attended mode, as you can see. It has got two input parameter username and password. And both these input parameter got this value from the environment variable, as you can see in the dynamic content window. To make uh, these input parameters sensitive or secure, we have toggle on the secure input option in the setting of run desktop action. Let's go to the Azure portal. To use Azure Key Vault feature, we should have both Power Platform and Azure subscription active in the same tenant. Next, navigate to Resource Provider tab under Azure subscription and search for Power Platform in the filter text box. and make sure that MS Power Platform provider registered in your tenant. If it is not, then you can click three dots and choose a register from the sub menu. For this demo, I have already set up a business app credential key vault. Let me open it. To create a secret, navigate to secret from left navigation. It shows that the current user doesn't have appropriate permission to add a secret key. No worries. Go to access control option. We will add a new role. Select add new role assignment from the menu. And search for administrator. Locate key vault administrator and select it. Press next button. Now we have to add the members. 
to which we want to grant this role assign this role we'll search for the user let's say manish we'll select it and once it is selected we will press review and assign button to create a new role to verify if the role is applied or not go to role assignment tab scroll down and you can see all the role assigned to this keyword now go back to the secret now we have rights to create a secret in the name we will add the secret name let's name it as postman password enter the password of postman web app in secret value and click create button to save it once it is saved click click it and then we will again add a new role click on add role assignment search for secret scroll down and search for keyword secret user role select it and then press next select members now we'll search for dataverse you have to choose dataverse application user yes select it and then press review and assign to to set up this new role new role you can verify it by going to role assignment tab scroll down and you can see all the role assigned for this secret key this is necessary uh, for for creating a secret variable in the power platform else you will get access uh, issues now we have secret key set up in azure key vault so let's go back to the solution we will first create a new environment variable select more then select environment variable enter the environment variable name let's say secret postman password choose secret as its data type in the secret store select azure key vault now press new azure key vault secret reference so here we have four inputs that we have to copy from the azure portal go back to the azure key vault on the overview page you can get the subscription id copy the subscription id from here and paste it in the environment variable input text box similarly you can get resource name from the overview page get the azure key vault name that is business app credential and paste it in the environment variable input text box to get the secret go to secrets tab and just copy the name postman password copy it and paste it in the environment variable save it you can see a new secret environment variable is created now let's edit the cloud flow it has got two actions and it calls the desktop flow in between add an action 
perform an unbound action to retrieve the secret value from Azure Key Vault. Search for unbound keyword. Select perform an unbound action. In the action name, search for retrieve environment variable secret value. In the environment name variable, this will we will get from the environment. So go back to the solution. Select the secret environment. Just copy the name from here. And then go back to the cloud flow and paste it in the environment variable name parameter. Go to the second and turn on secure output to hide the secret or password value in the flow run history. We will replace the input parameter with the output of perform an unbound action. We can we will get this value from the dynamic window. Just select it. Let's save and test the flow. Click on test button. Select manually and click on test. Click on done. When the desktop flow execute, it will launch Edge browser and the bot will enter username, password and click sign in button. So here you go. It has launched the Edge browser and now it has successfully login to the postman application web application so this way we have signed into the web application with password stored in azure key vault let's check the logs of desktop flow navigate to machine tab select the machine and click the desktop flow instance First, we will examine the input parameters. As we have secured the input parameters, so those are masked in the logs, as you can see. Lastly, let's check the action logs. We will examine the action that enters the part password in the web app. That is the fourth action. Click see input details. So you can see it is also masked and the value is marked as sensitive value. So that's it. For more videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.